Order! 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 You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! But if that's a migration controversy, there's a migrant crisis in the Mediterranean where there have been so many tragedies and where so many lives have been and are being lost. Today, news that at least 20 are feared to have drowned after another migrant boat capsized. It is the third deadly incident in two days. The Italian Navy has confirmed it rescued 562 people yesterday from a trawler that overturned. That dramatic capsize was caught on camera. What actually happens when a migrant boat sinks in the Med? This is what happens. Filmed yesterday in searing silence by the CCTV camera of an Italian Navy ship. Ironically, tragically, and all too frequently, the very promise of a rescue triggers the sinking. The naval ship has sent a small advance boat. It takes away a handful of those on board. Ten minutes later, with the prospect of a rescue for everyone, the passengers on deck have started to move, first to one side, then to the other. This is their fatal mistake. This is what happens far too often. Within seconds, the fishing boat, carrying at least 570 people, lists and now turns over. What should be a rescue is turning into mayhem and tragedy. At least seven people have drowned, but no one can be sure how many more are trapped in the hull, or indeed, how many of them can swim. Back on the Italian Navy ship, the Betica, back in the world of sound, there is panic. The captain has ordered his men to throw in anything that floats, not just life jackets. He also told reporters later that this was as close as he could move his ship. Yolo, yolo! Come on, come on, the Italian rescuer shouts in Arabic before motioning to one of the rescued to row oh. somehow. We still don't know how many people exactly drowned in this incident. It all depends on the number of those trapped inside. If past tragedies are anything to go by, that could be dozens, if not more. That was yesterday. This was today. Another sinking off the coast of Libya. Here, at least 20 drowned. With the route from Turkey to Greece now closed down, the Mediterranean between Libya and Italy has once again become a deadly sea. So, hello. Yeah, we are from Doctors Without Borders, we are going now, the, the big boat is coming right now, and we will rescue all of you. Minutes later, they all have life jackets. This is what a rescue is supposed to look like. Several hundred migrants, mostly from Africa. Unless they can prove that they're minors, a lot of them will be sent back to their country of origin as soon as they arrive in Italy. The operation has been successful. They're alive reason enough to celebrate. But at this stage, most of them probably have no clue what their future will look like. A job or a life in Europe is probably the last thing on their mind. For now, this is all about the brutal business of not dying. And at least one of them is still paralyzed by fear. Every week, sometimes every day, another boat without a name sinks in the Med. The people who survived this disaster looked as if they were mainly Arab, not African. They arrived in Sicily this afternoon. And if it turns out that they were from Syria, they will be classified as refugees and they will probably be allowed to stay in Europe, but a Europe that is less and less willing to take them in, despite their many ordeals. Since Monday, 6,000 lives have been saved, but we have no idea whether the number of coffins represents the true number of those who have died. I've been getting away with it all.